morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, how y'all doing? It's Kaiser, and we're talking about Reacher Season 2 again. More specifically, what's going to be going on with Reacher Season 3, and just kind of what's been going on with the Reacher series in general. Because um, this series has actually been pretty amazing. I must say, I do enjoy it a lot. And there's a really, really interesting reason I think a lot of us gravitated to it. So it was really quick that from season one that this gained a second season. Now, I do want to preface that I, I there are some folks that have definitely kind of expl expressed to me, you know, they didn't think season two was as good as season one. I would actually agree that season two was not nearly as good as season one. But, I mean, it's literally... It's it's within a couple of points difference between the two. I mean, it's season one is great. Season two is actually still really good. I still think it was a very good series, a great season. Um, quite to for season one's level, no, but it was just. I mean, I would I would put it up there and say that it's actually just about as good. So whenever all that came out. <clears throat> One of the other things that was very interesting to pay attention to was just keeping an eye on the ratings for this show. And, well, this show did not disappoint in the ratings. The ratings absolutely were massive for this show. And it was in the top 10, or actually really at the top of the Nielsen streaming charts for a, quite a while there. So I was really enthusiastic to hear that and see what's going on there. Reacher Season 2 draws massive viewership on Prime Video. Nielsen ratings reveal, specifically with getting into this, they kind of get into the numbers here a bit more. So, per THR, the Nielsen streaming numbers have been released for Reacher Season 2's premiere week. For the week of December 11, 7, 11 through 17th, Reacher acquired 1.69 billion billion minutes of watch time and that's a staggeringly high number that is really really good especially for such a relatively newcomer show to the block and it was a, again i still think it was a very good series it was a good season you know even if it wasn't quite season one you know as big as season one i would say well, quickly after Season 2 wrapped, we got announcements that Season 3 would be going ahead. Season 3 is already in production. And now, cue the media, as they always do, to find one thing that they don't like about a series that, uh, oh, features a more traditional storytelling arc. Features a very masculine, very more of a, uh, you know, kind of a that throwback, macho sort of, you know, kind of hero. And also has the old one night stand type of relationship, which has apparently got a lot of these people up in a absolute tizzy right now. So they're out there saying, read your season three, you must drop one recurring trope to fix a toxic character trait <clears throat> alan richens hero will continue his adventures in reacher season three but the show needs to address one of his most toxic character traits oh my i can hear the pearl clutching from here mm. funny um yeah some is like some chick goes out has a whole bunch of one night stands with a whole bunch of dudes it's considered empowering we make a TV show about this one guy who goes around and has like one relationship per season. He's not attached to anything. He doesn't have anything holding him down. He's kind of just travels from place to place. And suddenly that's a problem whenever that's kind of always been a thing in storytelling. It's kind of a character, you know, archetype that's always existed. So of course it's gotta be a, something that they're going to get all upset about. So saying Reacher season three should avoid including a romance story to break Jack's pattern of jumping from one tryst to another. 
Dixon and Roscoe's affairs with Jack in previous seasons showcased a toxic pattern of him avoiding commitments. Since Jack's nature prevents him from settling down, crafting another short-lived affair for him in season three should be done with should be done more mindfully. Mm hmm. Huh. Yeah. Um. Yes, I can definitely smell shite. Okay. Yeah. Again, I'm guaranteeing you that. Uh, oh, how many shows have we seen? Like. Uh, oh yeah. You know that. Th there's like those all those rom-coms and yeah, that one show girls or something like that about, and a whole bunch of like, uh, you know, chicks having a whole bunch of, you know, romantic partners. And that was apparently empowering and okay. And supposed to be so socially acceptable. Okay. One guy in one series and you're throwing a fit because it's more of a traditional heroic archetype. Mm. Yeah, I'm calling on your calling you on your bullshit. <laughs> We've already even also got this promotional photo from Alan Richson on the set of season three, so <laughs> that's cool. So they're saying Reacher season three shouldn't have a romance story, though the new season will adopt Lee Child's persuader novel. It should avoid the love plot. Uh -huh, sure, uh, I don't see that happening because uh, Amazon is actually re realizing and rightly so that by adapting the books as they are and having Lee child on staff to actually help them craft the narrative to fit, you know, the current, uh, in current day as best as they can without compromising the story or the character or anything like that. Guess what? That means they're going to do it exactly the way that it is in the book. And yeah, I'm all about it. Reacher and Dixon's Roscoe romance is showing a toxic pattern. He gets involved with women without telling them their relationship will be short-lived. <sighs> really? We're still going down this road? Whatever. Anyway, folks, that is definitely kind of all we're looking at with for this right now. So it looks like they're moving forward with Reacher Season 3. They're going to be absolutely, you know, drawing on the original source material for this going forward. I'm, I'm actually excited. I'm looking forward to season three. It's going to be getting back to a lot of what season one had, which was more of the, you know, Reacher as the lone, the lone wolf, the rogue that he kind of is, you know, going into his next uh, adventure. So I am definitely down for it. Again, I liked season two. I don't think it was as good as season one, but I still think it was good. And I definitely highly recommend it to all of y'all out there. So definitely, if you're looking for some good quality entertainment, check out Reacher. It is amazing. Both season one and season two both get Kaiser's seal of approval. And stay tuned for season three when it comes out because it is going to make more and more woke Hollywood SJW's heads explode. And I am all for it. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments section down below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.